In front of you, you see a few different components that you need to trade the Copper One sample configuration. First of all, you see a keyboard. You also see a keyboard trader workspace. Uh, what you're looking at here is the keyboard trader controller form and also a trading view which represents one contract. You also see an XTrader Pro workspace showing data for one contract. Okay, so let's take a look at this keyboard. If you look at the blue and red keys over here, these are keys to buy below the market and sell above the market. As you start to move to the right, the orders become a little bit more aggressive. By the time we get over here, these are keys to buy at the current bid and sell at the current offer. And if we go all the way to the right, these are for buying at the market and selling at the market. On the left side of the keyboard, we have ways that you can control your working orders. You can use these two keys to raise or lower the price of your working orders by uh, one tick in either direction. And you can use these keys on the outside for raising or lower by five ticks. However, you can adjust these uh, numbers up and down as you know, any way you want to in the workspace. On the upper left side of the keyboard, we have all these different cancel functions. You have cancel bids, cancel offers, cancel orders on the inside market, canceling your active order. And then you have this function here to take your working order and move it towards the market so that it's executable. We also have a trade out button up there. If you look at the bottom of the keyboard, if your fingers and hands are in the position where you would uh, normally keep them while you're trading, you'll notice that these keys down here are very handy for changing order size. So you can use these two keys for changing your default quantity and using these keys to quickly change the next order size that you want to use for your trades. Up at the top of the keyboard, we see that there's a power off button. If the power's off, then no matter what you do with the rest of the keys in the keyboard, it's not going to send orders through Keyboard Trader. Once you turn the power on, now you can turn on the trading state. Now you can start trading. Okay, let's place some buy orders and notice that I'm going to be able to control them using both my hands at the same time. It's very, very uh, powerful to have 10 fingers at your disposal to uh, quickly submit function after function. Now, let's assume that I see the market starting to go down and I want to reverse my position. It's very easy to use both your hands to quickly cancel your, your buy orders and then set the order size for your uh, next order to either be, the, either be your, uh, your current position size or double your current position size and to uh, exit or switch sides. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to gonna do a reverse. Um, okay, so let's say I am now short and I'm trying to add to that short. And maybe I don't want to switch to the uh, buy side, but I say, oh, no, you know, this is, this is just not going right. I can just liquidate. There, I just liquidated on the inside bid. And, and you can see that, you know, sometimes these, these market opportunities, they're, they're just so fleeting that if you're not fast like that, you're just going to miss it. Okay, so uh, let's just show you this trade out button up there. We'll get you flat. Um, this is a configuration that I've personally used uh, something very similar to this for many years and uh, it's extremely powerful and intuitive to use. You can sign up for a free demo of Keyboard Trader including any of the sample configurations that we show on our website by going to the free demo page or by giving us a call. Thanks very much.